Okay guys, I got the trunk lock from Honda to replace this so you can have a key. Otherwise you can't lock it. I've got this thing on there. What good is it if you can't lock it? So let's install this. I just did a camera recently so I kind of know the whereabouts of how to do this. So let's do it. Okay, so let's see what we have in the box here. The big box, this one right here, got some, this looks like something you'd put in with the owner's manual in the truck. Yeah, it just tells you how to use it. It's just a little supplement. Um, in here, in this bag, we've got two really nice factory keys. You can see those like that. Nice lock. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Really good. Well made. Okay. So we got that. We got the supplement. Let's see what we have in here. In this bag, we have a couple of the rods and the hardware for that. I don't know if you can see that right in there. There's a couple of rods and these little plastic clips that go along with it. We also have this. Very well made, powder coated, really nice part number on it. Okay, in the small box, let's see what we got in this. Piece of bubble wrap. Ah, look at this. Camera, lock. It's really nice. It even has a little arrow to tell you which way to turn it. Um, made well. Honda. Got these nice pieces on it. This is a good quality, as usual. Good quality. So there you go. Okay, let's get those directions. We'll get this tailgate taken apart, and let's put it in. Shouldn't take that long at all. Okay, if you order one of these locks to your tailgate on the Honda Ridgeline, the Honda Ridgeline, not the Tundra, I print these off. I do a search for an installation .pdf. So I put Honda Ridgeline installation tailgate lock .pdf. College Hills Honda com has all these installation PDFs. They are amazing, and it's it's really great because I uh, you know installing fender flares or whatever I need to, I can get it all right here. So it's it's fantastic. So why does my arm look so big? Look at that oh maybe they're getting there. <laughs> Anyways, directions complete install. I mean, it's great. This is awesome. I'd hate to try to fumble through this and break all those plastic clips. So anyways, let's get to it. Enough of that. Okay, folks, let's swap this out.
this is the new tailgate upper where the locking mechanism goes. So I'm going to reinstall the camera on that. You got to make sure these screws go in right. These are tight. Be gentle. And don't strip them. But they need to be snug. Use the right size screwdriver. There is a spring nut I need to install. You can kind of see this is a spring nut. You can kind of see what it looks like. Go right here. See that? I imagine the screw that came in the bag is the self tapping screw they speak of. This is the lock right here. All right, again, proper screwdriver. Snug, not tight. New tailgate upper handle rod seems to be the long one. So it's this one right here. And then this little blue thing right here, right here, you spin it around like that, and it clips right on. It's really easy to clip on. So what you have to do is reach up from underneath. So what you do is you go underneath the tailgate, feed the cord up through, feed the rod, tailgate rod, up through. It will go in. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, the harness, so it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to use my magnetic 10 millimeter socket right here. I put these in. See? Look at that. And get those snug. These are great. I love having a magnetic 10 millimeter. Worked great removing the head unit from the uh, Tundra. Now remember guys, snug. You don't want to go to tight and end up stripping something. You don't want to do that. Reach underneath here. It all feels nice and flush. Next step, connect this rod right here. And you look at that. So you just push it, push it down in, turn this piece, snaps right in like that. Perfecto mundo. Next step. Now it's asking me to put the key in and test it. Okay, turn the key 90 degrees clockwise. Now, uh, vehicle cable, let's see, right here. Vehicle cable and vehicle rod, right here. There's that. Oh, vehicle cable unhooks the same way. It's just comes apart the same way as you can see right there. It goes into here. It comes undone just like the rods. Just look at it and you'll figure it out. Next part to install is this. Just like that. Okay, now we need a tailgate latch synchronizer. 
which is the long bar right here. Okay. So now we're down to these. These two parts right here are identical. And then you're left with this little short rod. Okay. There we go. That looks like all the steps. Well, what do you think about that installation? good. Everything's working good. Okay, folks, now to reassemble all the stuff on top. That's pretty easy. Let's start with the big piece right here. And let's get that on. All tested and good to go. We're all good. Okay. Reverse camera works great. We get this piece right here. Now this might be different than uh, what your wh the way you've seen people put these on, but. What I like to do is this. I replaced all the clips on these. They were broken when I got it. Snug, not tight. You will strip these. All right, here we go. No bolts left over. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Now it's locked. Now, of course, folks, anything you do, whether you put a pop and lock or a locking mechanism like this that is factory, if somebody wants in, they can bring a big metal crowbar and do it, but that's a planned event. You know, you can't do anything about that. They might just... They might just steal your truck. You know, what you want to do is slow them down. If you slow down somebody, like putting a, a catalytic converter guard under your vehicle, that slows them down. They can still spend some time there, but it might, instead of taking them 60 seconds, it might take them five minutes to cut through all that and get it off. And then they, they risk cutting themselves pretty bad with that sheet metal or aluminum or whatever you got. Um, you know, slow them down. If somebody wants it, they're going to get it. Just that's why we have insurance. Hopefully you do too. And, you know, um, just take a deep breath. It happens. But, you know, you just want to slow things down and prevent things, prevent things from happening 
and you'll be you'll be good to go. Look at that old thing, Santa Claus. Anyways, so there you have it. The Honda OEM lock install. Pretty easy. Doesn't take that long. This is my first time doing it. If I had to do it again, it's probably a 15 minute job. Uh, five minutes to pull all the bolts out and get to it. 15 minutes to finish the work and then put it back together. Uh, so there you have it. I hope you liked the video. If you would, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. It encourages me and motivates me to do more videos on the Tundra, the Subaru, and the Ridgeline. I've got a bunch already videoed for the Ridgeline. I'll get up soon. The Tundra, and I've got a bunch of stuff lined up for the Subaru. Life gets in the way. I'm doing the best I can. I'm making videos. So stay tuned, and I will see you next time. See ya.